We were going to get uh, Bernard von Nothaus on in the next hour, but we're able to get him now, so we've got him. And then in the third hour, I'm going to get into forced Gardasil shots coming to Mexico and all the carnage that it's left in its wake here in the U.S. Uh, we're also going to get into Rick Perry. It's now emerging was a big Hillary Care supporter and gave speeches and wrote letters and said, oh, yes, we must have socialism. So that means mainline Republicans. There's nothing more they love than getting getting conned. So they're going to line up for that big time. Uh, of course, they can vote for Obamacare, Mitt Romney. They'll probably, they like that too. The worse the candidate and the more they lie to them, they just love it. Uh, so we're going to be talking about that as well coming up with Ron Paul. Uh, also uh, continuing uh, here with the news, we're going to look at what's happening in the economy. A jam-packed transmission lined up for you today. Now, Six months ago, uh, Bernard von Nothaus, who for decades ran the Royal Hawaiian Mint and who also uh, then 14 years ago or 14 plus now set up the Liberty Dollar. And it's an open silver and gold back system that uh, does not masquerade as a Federal Reserve note or the defunct U.S. dollar. We haven't had that since the Federal Reserve took over, except for a brief time when JFK reissued greenbacks. $5 billion of them. He was going to issue $50 billion. It says U.S. note has a red stamp on it. It's $5 bills. You can find them in any coin shop, usually for about $10, $15. $15. You won't actually see uh, the last time we had actual dollars in this country. It was 19, 1963. And, you know, the bankers didn't like that too much. Uh, so he issued silver and gold rounds or coins. There are hundreds of companies uh, out there over the years, thousands that have commissioned coins at different mints. I mean, there's Ron Paul coins, there's uh, university coins, there's military coins. You see the ads constantly. I mean, my entire life on TV, especially on, you know, Saturday and Sunday, you see coin ads up there uh, from this mint or that mint. Or companies find a sunken ship with uh, you know, 10,000 ounces of silver and they strike them into new coins with the, with the image of the ship on it. I mean, you see those ads. I mean, I've ordered them myself. And when they convicted him because of a pet jury, and by the way, they're convicting people of filming police in public. It's not eavesdropping, and later courts overthrow it, but they can get juries to, to, to send a child to the gas chamber for, for not brushing their teeth. I mean, they can get a jury because of these prosecutors play on their ignorance to do anything. And 98% of people are convicted in federal, federal court because these are kept juries. They don't really rotate. It's just one group of of uh, normally criminals uh, that, that sit on them. So it might not have been uh, ignorance. And they allow informants to come in and lie knowingly. I mean, it's very dangerous. So uh, Bernard uh, von Nothaus didn't take it like a joke. He said, this is ridiculous. Ha, 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 I'm not worried. He went in, they convicted him. Even the AP's own analysis, and we're going to him, the day after it said, this is crazy. We've checked the law. This isn't counterfeiting Federal Reserve notes or anything. It's silver and gold coins. There's all these other companies. And in their statement, they said, uh, this is the FBI Charlotte Division from the U.S. Attorney, it says attempts to undermine the legitimate currency of this country, that's what the Federal Reserve's done, are simply a unique form of domestic terrorism. Well, that's what the Federal Reserve is, yeah, terrorist. U.S. Attorney uh, Tompkins said in an announcing the verdict, while these forms of anti-government activities do not involve violence, they are every bit as insidious and represent a clear and present danger to the economic stability of our country, she added. We are determined to meet these threats through infiltration, disruption, and dismantling of organizations which seek to challenge the legitimacy of our d democratic form of government. Oh, democratic. Now, the, uh, this is what I've got uh, Mr. Nothouse on about. I wanted to fill you in. Now, uh, the Secret Service has announced, and, and, and Coin World has, announced, has reported on it, so is Infowars.com, feds may seize liberty dollars. That yes, the coins are illegal to even hold, even if it's for educational purposes, just like I, they're now saying Gibson guitars or any other wooden furniture, firearms that could have now be an endangered tree. If you can't prove when you bought it, they're going to start SWAT teaming you. And it, it's beginning. So uh, gold, silver coins, wood firearms, wooden guitars. I mean, it's on. Thousands of arrests or raids, dozens of times I've seen where they've arrested people selling lemonade. Uh, Amish being raided, the, uh, people being arrested or fined for having garage sales. It's on. You don't have gardens in your yard. It's on.
it's on. The depression's here, and you are not going to be self-sufficient. Uh, you're not going to have an alternative currency. But the good news is they may have hurt this guy and made him a martyr for now. But like a phoenix, seven states have passed or are passing laws to bring in silver. So uh, this idea, uh, it's time has come and no army can stop it. And so we are joined by Bernard von Nothaus. Sir, thank you so much for joining us. Alex, it's always a pleasure to visit with you. Well, tell us uh, about how you've been doing, waiting for sentencing six months from their lordships uh, and their kangaroo imperial court, and what you make of their statement that your coins themselves are, uh, are, are, are counterfeit. Well, I've been, I've been holding up pretty well, Alex, even though it's been almost a half a year since I was convicted, and I still don't know when I'm going to be sentenced, which is probably still months away. But, uh, you know, I've been whiling away, uh, working on my pet projects, but I am particularly incensed and alarmed by the recent article that Coin World just announced that Liberty Dollars may be subject to seizure. This is a gross expansion on the part of the government, and I don't think they really realize what uh, they're sticking their male member or female member into, quite frankly, right now, you know. And what? And by that, your your uh, this the, the the their ruling, their statement, their kangaroo uh, largesse, their administrative law, uh, which you know does come out of the well the end that you don't eat with. They are saying that all gold and silver is illegal. Well, no, they're they're saying Liberty Dollars may no. be seized, Alex. No, I know, but the way they've written it, saying silver and gold coins are counterfeit, that could be expanded out into everything the way I read it. It's very dangerous. Well, I I, can, I agree that it's dangerous, but they're not saying that gold and silver coins, because after all, the United States Mint makes gold and silver coins. Yeah, I know, know? But, I, the, the, but, but they're saying your coins could be oh, subject yeah. to seizure. That sets the precedent for all of them. Yeah, well, it's a dangerous slope. Uh, I give you that, Alex. But, you know, the Liberty Dollar was unique in its design, its mission, uh, everything about the Liberty Dollar. And it was also unique that this article by Coin World came out at exactly the same time that I was actually in Charlotte appearing in court asking for an extension to find an attorney to represent me during my sentencing hearing. So, uh, boy, a lot of interesting things. The biggest part here, Alex, and the reason I see that the government doesn't understand uh, the implications of what they're saying is, is that when they, when they raided Sunshine, they confiscated Liberty Dollars, they seized 170,000 ounces of silver. Now, that's a shit pot full of silver, Alex. That's a lot of silver. But in reality... Because the vast majority of Liberty Dollar supporters did not trust the government and did not believe that the government wouldn't come in and seize the property, 90% of all Liberty Dollars were never were, were in specie form. We're, we filled people's orders. So that means that the 170000 that they seized is only 10%, okay, and the vast majority of the 1.7 million Liberty Dollars are out there in circulation in millions of people's hands. I mean, this is, this is widely distributed. When you think about 1.7 million ounces, that doesn't take into consideration the fractionals because we had halves and quarters and two-fifths, one-fifths, one-twentieth. So I would gather, Alex, that there is probably about Two million, at least two million Liberty Dollars that are out there floating around. So if they're going to go out there and start trying to collect that, wow, they're really going to have their job cut out for them. Well, you know, they don't care. They don't have to arrest every Amish farmer. They don't have to arrest every Lemon State uh, <laughs> owner. You know, they like, uh, again, it's about doing brazen, crazy things to just get us to accept that, well, my pimp beats me. He puts cigarettes out on me. I mean, this is this is about exercising their will on us. Uh, this is about hiking their leg on us. Well, I I certainly agree with you there, Alex. That they use gross, intimidating tactics 
okay? But the thing is, is what they're already doing is driving the price of Liberty Dollars even higher than what they were on eBay and other different uh, sites that handle Liberty Dollars. I got a report from one of our uh, supporters who said that he saw a one-ounce copper on eBay for $70, for Pete's sakes, Alex. It's astronomical what Liberty Dollars are going for. And we were just trying to help the government find their way to issue a value-based currency. Well, well, my question is, if they say you're counterfeiting, are they going to go after the seven states that are starting to issue silver? Well, the, the states have a long ways to go before they get to that point, to be honest with you, Alex. And if Nevada's any example, when they took it to the attorney general, when, when the state's people in Nevada took it to their attorney general, he immediately poo pooed the whole thing, and it, cost, and it suddenly died. Uh, yes, there's a lot of rhetoric about states' rights issuing something like this, but states cannot issue any gold and silver coins. That's, they're specifically barred from that from the Constitution. Now, could they go to a third party? Could they allow a different currency to be used? Could they accept a gold and silver currency to be used to pay taxes? Yes, they could do that. I mean, after all, they are using the, those dreaded depreciating Federal Reserve notes. Bernard yeah. Vaughn Notehouse, stay there. I want to come back and talk about your case and why they went after you. Well, because you were successful in educating people. You're a political prisoner in waiting. Stay with us. You don't need me to tell you that humanity is in a deep crisis. Everyone can feel it. We know a tectonic struggle is now taking place between the forces of freedom and those who love darkness, bondage, and enslavement. Yes, my friends, evil is rising. But take heart, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Recently, New World Order operative Hillary Clinton admitted they're losing the info war. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. The globalists are scared. They've overreached. The future of the info war is in your hands. Join PrisonPlanet.tv, download the thousands of special video reports, ebooks, and more, and get them out to everyone you know. Continue to spread the word about the broadcast on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and every other globalist propaganda platform. We are going to use their system against them. The Info War now goes into high gear. Well, the founder of the Liberty Dollar the Royal Hawaiian Mint, you name it. Bernard Von Nothaus is our guest. What do you think of the way that this blew up in their face? I mean, even mainstream media said it was crazy that you were convicted for uh, minting silver and gold coins and criticizing the Federal Reserve. I mean, you, uh, you clearly were not masquerading uh, as their masquerading counterfeit currency. Well, that's an understatement, Alex. I'm certainly not been masquerading. You know, I was on tour for 12 years, speaking uh, all across the United States at a lot of different events in terms of providing a solution to the government. I thought that we were being helpful to the government because obviously they lost their way. They had their head up in a dark, foul place and that they needed some assistance. So I thought the Liberty Dollar was going to be well received. And actually, Alex, to be honest with you, it was very well received by the government for the first, uh, let's see, seven or eight years. I mean, a lot of prominent uh, government officials replied that the government that the Liberty Dollar was legal. I appeared on the Learning Channel special along with the Federal Reserve and uh, U.S. Mint and Department of Bureau and Printing. And uh, so, I mean, it was no secret about what I was doing, Alex. But evidently. They really got their nose out of joint somewhere between April the 18th when Coin World ran an article saying that uh, Liberty Dollars were illegal to collect. And that came directly from uh, the uh, Department of Treasury until, like, yesterday when they issued that new um, article from Coin World saying that Liberty Dollars uh, may be confiscated. Uh, Amazing turn of events there, Alex. So it looks like they're trying to get their federal regulations in line with your fake conviction because now they realize, wow, we convicted somebody 
on something that isn't illegal. So they think, I guess, retroactively, they can have the Treasury flip-flop and say, well, we said you could have these, but now you can't. And so you're convicted of something that wasn't yet their regulation.